Hello guys, Eddie K Short it here with another YouTube tutorial. There are so many ways you can sharpen your images in Photoshop, but I really find this method very easy and simple to understand. So stay tuned to learn how to do that. So we usually use the high pass method to sharpen our images, but that has a bad effect on the highlights of the skin. So in order to prevent that, I'll take you through the basic methods that I use to sharpen my images. Before I go on with this tutorial, let me first acknowledge the photographer of this image, who is by the name Noor De Lou. I'm not pretty sure about the pronunciation, but I'll leave his Instagram link in the description. So as you can see on your screen now, this image has already been sharpened. So let's toggle through the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Before and after. The image looks sharpened, right? So I'll take you through the steps that I use to sharpen the image. So let me bring, let me duplicate, first duplicate um, the original layer by pressing Ctrl J and then move it to the top of the layers. And let me turn this sharpen layer off and convert the original layer to a smart object. Um, you need to convert it to a smart object in order to make the layer non-destructive so that we can come back later on and edit the values the sharpening values when we think it's not good or it's not that okay for us so with that done let's go to filter sharpen on sharp marks so with the on sharp marks window opened let's bring all the values to their minimum so the amount slider is the intensity of the sharpness you want to apply on the skin and the radius is the distance between the pixels in the sharpened areas of the skin so for instance if I push my amount to about 114 and then my radius way ahead to like 36, it darkens the image and that is not what we like, right? So let's bring it back and then do it the right way. So usually I place my amount around 86 to 87 and then my radius is always between one and two so between one and two i like to uh, put it around 1.7 or 1.8 yep so here you are with your image sharpened and click you can see the before and then when you leave it you can see the after so let's click and hold to see the before and then release it to see the after so you can see the image is sharpened right so with that with that done, you press OK. And because you converted your layer to a smart object, these layers were created beneath your layer. So let's go through our before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Before and after. So this is all that I have for you in this tutorial. And please don't forget to like this tutorial and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.